Let me address a fundamental point arising from what he said on Monday. He said there are double standards because the individuals in the KOM case are, I quote his words, actually guilty, close quotes. Sir, the member has parliamentary privilege to speak, but that has to be exercised responsibly. When we want to say that someone is guilty, I would like to remind all members to have a care. Mr. Leong has said that persons investigated by CPIB are, I quote, actually guilty, close quotes. That is making assertions against a number of persons that they are guilty of criminal offenses, that they've been found guilty of criminal offenses, when in fact they have not been found guilty. Not all the persons. The Cambridge Dictionary definition of guilty means responsible for breaking a law. So, sir, I will now invite Mr. Leong through you to either substantiate his statement that they are all guilty or withdraw his statement. One cannot, under the cloak of parliamentary privilege, make these sorts of statements about people. And if he does not withdraw, then, sir, we will consider what else needs to be done. Speaker, may I ask the minister, I actually was the first to raise the issue that whether the senior minister and minister should make such statements in this parliament. And now he's turning around and say that I have made certain statements. But I will answer his, 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 uh, his uh, uh, question first. And I hope he answer the question I've asked fully later. When I say these individuals are guilty, because this is based on the, the information that we've obtained about what happened overseas, in the overseas jurisdiction. What the Singapore court decision is, we know that the, the, the Singapore, the, the CPIB decided not to prosecute them. But at the same time, we also want to know not to prosecute. Does it also mean that in the stern warning letter, there is really, uh, when a stern warning letter is issued, does it mean that they are actually, there are actually sufficient evidence to show that they are guilty, but there are some reasons that the CPIB decide not to prosecute I them? I raise a point of order. Yeah. I asked a simple question. Is the member saying they have been found guilty all of them in any court of law, or is he otherwise prepared to withdraw his statement? That's all I've asked. If he says he's not prepared to withdraw, we leave it and we follow up. I have the uh, uh, impression that they are found guilty in the overseas court of law. Can I know what is the basis on which the member says that he is under that impression that they have all been found guilty? This is based on the, uh, the, 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 the case has been such a big case overseas and in Singapore, and uh, the uh, Capital Corp has paid such a big fine overseas. Can I suggest that member makes, works a little bit, finds out what he is talking about before coming here and making serious allegations? If I were to tell him that his statement is false. It is untrue to say they have all been found guilty elsewhere, certainly not in Singapore. Is he prepared to withdraw his statement? Speaker, if the minister say that they have not been found guilty overseas, then I'm prepared to withdraw my statement. Well, for the record, one person pleaded guilty in the United States. To the best of my knowledge, no one else has been found guilty. And it is a very serious statement to come here, make allegations without doing your homework, and then propagate this sort of stuff all over the place. Really unparliamentary and not acceptable. And then to say, well, I've read it seems to be big. Unfortunately, this is a thread running through all of Mr. Leong's statements. He doesn't do his homework. He doesn't check. He just 
says all sorts of things. And that is not the way debates ought to go. I'm glad Mr. Leong has withdrawn that statement.